Good morning and welcome back to our off-grid homestead that we are building from scratch here in North Idaho. We tore up the front yard, but now as you can see, there is a nice green haze to it. That's because we planted it all in Dutch white clover and it's all starting to come up. So Sarah's wedding, I think, is going to have a nice green yard, about an acre and a half. Today, in this week's video, we're gonna be getting hot water into the main part of the house, getting the second shower set up. And I think we're gonna be naming a couple chickens, aren't we, Jules? Yeah. I really like your guys' suggestion for Mr. Roo. So if this is our rooster, we're gonna name him Mr. Roo. I think Mr. That's Roo, super huh? Super cute. <laughs> All right. He is a rose comb brown leghorn. <laughs> so this is the water heater we have. It's a Ream Performance Premium on demand propane water heater and it's seriously heavy surprisingly heavy Ooh. Ooh. we got to open it from the uh, from the side apparently We almost threw away the template so that you don't have to hold that really heavy unit up there to the wall to figure out where the bracket goes. They gave you this cool template. Before we get too far into the video, I wanted to say a special thank you to Charles and Jolene for this really adorable sign. I just think it's super cute. Appreciate you guys a lot. They also do um, signs if you're interested. It's quick signs. Go on overland uh, at gmail.com. So if you're interested in having a personalized sign made, go check them out. Thank you guys, really appreciate it. So this right here, this is where we're installing it. These are the vents up here for it right here. Water lines right down here. And the gas will come up through the floor to it. Right now we're marking where the vents are so that when we put the water heater up here, we'll know where they're gonna hit down here. There we go. So when we frame this up, we put a support right here for the uh, water heater to hang on. So anyway, we've got a two by four stud going, we got a two by four bracing blocking going right here. All right, now we just need to look. Just to give you a little bit of context, this is the living room right here, living room kitchen area. You can see the water heater still sitting right there. Come down the hallway, Ta -da. into the closet. There we go. <laughs> yeah, so it should work right here. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall and see how it comes out. How the vents line up. Hopefully they line up perfectly. All right, ready? Pretty good, huh? Yeah. We are going to cut them at 12 and a half inches just to give us plenty of room. Beautiful. Look at that. That's pretty good, Jules. Thanks, dude. It was like a teamwork. We had three people holding it. <laughs> <laughs> One to cut, two to hold. <laughs> I did nick the stairs just a tad. That's okay. Sorry, dude. All right. Cool, man. Right, let's measure these just to make sure. Okay. <clears throat> this one on the shortest is 12 and a half. Okay. This one on the shortest, just under 12 and a half. It's good. Where's the chainsaw on the generator? I don't know. <laughs> In the woodshed. <laughs> Seth's, the going, woodshed? <laughs> Seth's going to attack our, our log pile uh, some. Big old log pile. Yeah. Thanks, oh. bud. Wow. Yeah. But no, it is. It's in the woodshed. I think we can just take it out of the wheelbarrow and set it down there. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Just getting all the boogers off so 
so that it's a nice clean fit and you don't suck any any little pvc particles down into the water heater so we test fit it up there a few times to make sure that everything fits properly now it's time to glue it together and not get purple stuff on the floor <laughs> we're living in danger zone here Smells pretty delicious, Smirty. I know it, man. <laughs> this is the happy glue. <laughs> right, we should be good to go. We've got it all glued up there. We've test fit it already and marked it and put it all back together. Let's hope we can get this thing on there. We did it! <laughs> Nothing's heavy. There we go. Just scuff the wall a little bit. No, that's what touch up paint's for though, right? Look who's here! <laughs> Hi! Is this the first time you've been back in the videos? I think so. I think yeah. so. Welcome home! Thank you very much. <laughs> Came downstairs, or went downstairs, to get some Parmesan cheese. What are you cooking? I want to make chicken alfredo, Ooh, and fancy. a lady from Henderson makes it with Parmesan cheese, like just from Walmart, and it was so good. So I want to try it too. Fancy. These right here are our clean out valves. Well, they're the on and off valves for the water heater, but also they have a clean out section here so that you can run like um, a solution through there. Vinegar is used a lot, but they also sell uh, like a professional type solvent or whatever to get the scale out of your water heater. So we're installing these guys, but we need to, need to put a nipple in there first. So we're putting our union end on here. Hopefully. There we go. Putting our valves on now. We already got the hot one on here. This opening right here is for the uh, pressure relief valve. I guess we should have put that on there first, but it'll be okay. Put it on there. Go ahead and turn that off. This guy goes this way. Turn this guy off. Turn this one off and off. All right, it's cool looking, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go ahead and take this one back off. We'll put the pressure relief valve on because I forgot. And then we'll be ready to start working on the rest of the plumbing for it. We just turned the water off downstairs at the pressure tank. Now, just gonna make sure that there's no water in the lines because we're gonna cut them open. We're gonna go check on Seth while we wait for that water to finish draining out of the lines. Oh, and check this out. Ta -da -da! Look at all those we've caught already. Getting a head start on them. This is the massive pile that we need to do. Yeah, Seth's getting a little head start on it. Woo! Yeah, That's a lot. Well, you already got this done, huh? Huh? You already got this done. Yep. That's cool. It looks good. I think we have more than we have room for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. That's all right. That's a good problem to have. Yeah. Too much firewood is wow, way better than too little firewood. <laughs> Look at it. That sub blade's sharp, man. I just hit my finger on wow. it. Wow. Seth, be sure to leave some for Colin. Oh, that's plenty for Colin. Don't take away all his fun. <laughs> right. Good job. Drained all the water out of the lines, but there's probably still some in there, so we just have this tote to catch any water. We're gonna cut it right in the middle here. Maybe we'll be able to use these two pieces, or we'll have to cut the rings off and then add some, but we'll see. First steps first is to cut this, try to get it right in the middle. You can hear it gurgling a little. Mm -hmm.
These right here are ring cutters used to take rings off. Like this. Huh. Yeah? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, eh? Then, struggle with getting these guys off. There we go. Got it. Make sure we didn't scar these guys up and they feel good. Man, don't want to forget to put these fancy things on there. Yeah, look at that. So beautiful. Those are just decorative like trim, right? Yeah. We built these guys right here. Now, we put this guy on here. We'll slide it on there. Then, we can crimp that guy on there. Okay. So what keeps these from just moving around? Fuck them. Okay. Cool. First problem on the uh, installation here. Our copper tubing's not long enough. We could go to Home Depot and get a longer one, probably. I'm not sure that they have one though. Or we could just cut this, put it on, extend it out so that it fits. Just make this one longer. What do you think? Make it longer. Make this longer? <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll do that then. Let's go with 10 inches. 10 will do it. 10 will do it. We're all hooked up. Let's turn it on and see if we have any leaks. Is it not a problem that that one isn't horizontal? No. No? Okay. No problem, man. Cool. Yeah. Just Exciting. for aesthetics, it's not. So perfect. wait, don't we need to like plug it in? No, it's not, the gas isn't hooked up yet. Oh. We just gotta turn the water back on so we can use it in the rest of the house. Okay, gotcha. What, um, we we'll probably have a valve open upstairs still, huh? Yeah, the sink. See any leaks yet? No. Nope. Sweet. Yeah, nothing. No dribbles or anything. Let's, um, we open up the cold valve and then open up the hot one on there. Nope, not that one. <gasps> the other one. Sorry. <laughs> Open this. Oh, that's the gas. Huh? It's for the circulation thing to clean it out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do it. Down. Down. Put my hands up. Whoa. That was hard. Okay. So, it's time to drill a hole in the floor. Nerve wracking part. We measured. Hopefully, it's right. You want to, um, put your hand in that piece of pipe. Take your hand. I'm gonna just leave that on there so we don't mess it up. Oh no. Maybe it won't fit with the cap. There we go. So, now, we gotta go under the house, Jules. Okay. <laughs> oh wait, we could drill that hole over there first. Now we're running the gas line. Got to go ahead and cut this off here. And uh, we're going to tap into the main gas line for the house. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. All right. So we got all this extra. That's all going underneath the house. And this piece is going to come up and tie in right up there. We're going to take that apart and add another T to it. And then we will connect this gas line to it. But that'll be the last connection we make. That way we don't break open the, the gas line before we're ready to, before we're ready to, to charge it. It's time to go down into the hole because it's time to hook up the gas, man. Let's do it. Um, would you grab the, the roll of the three quarter inch, the yellow stuff that's out in the garage too? Yeah. Okay. I'm stuck. We got our valve and flange on here. So we're gonna go ahead and Try to drill a hole here in the kitchen for the range. Checking out the stud finder. See if it'll work through the floor and all of that. Mm. Let's try it again. One eternity later. We figured out we're gonna put it in this corner. Yep, somewhere right about there. This is our old gas pipe right here. I think we're just gonna leave it in place and uh, roll this stuff down without making a big mess of it. Sarah, 
wouldn't like it down here. Not, not with the spider web. <laughs> it's pretty long. Yeah. I think we might make it. I think so. We're going to be really close anyway. I'm just using some plumber's tape here to fasten the gas line to the floor joist. This stuff right here, plumber's tape. We're using that to uh, fasten the gas pipe to the floor joists. Hopefully we'll get it relatively straight. All right, what do you think? Yeah. Cool. All the way down. All the way down, yeah. Cut back our plastic, put a fresh cut on the end here. We've got this little brass ring. It fits on the first, the first rib here. Then you just kind of tighten it up here. It acts kind of like a washer to hold the, the nut back here on as it compresses all this together. Our nut can slide up all the way. Beautiful. And this guy goes on here. I think we got it. I think so. Gas line, it's a little wavy right there. We'll have to fix that up and dress that up. But uh, it's time now to go do the final connection into the main gas line and then leak check. All right, first things first, we're gonna turn the gas off. Yes, which is right out here. Right here, turn the gas off. Gas is off. Jules is going to go run the hot water upstairs in the apartment until there's no more hot water coming out, meaning that the the gas is out of line. Then we're busting into it right there. We've got to try to get this guy apart without destroying anything. Otherwise, we won't have any hot water because we won't have any gas, Jules. Not a good idea. That's not good. No. We got that out of the way. It smells like toots. Yeah, I smell it. It's very tough on the shoulders. Working above your head like that. So we got that guy off of there. Now we need to add this one to it. So we can come off of here and then that other one can connect back into here. Totally different style fitting. This one has that crimp ring. And the other ones, I'll show you when we put it back together. But it has a different type of fitting. And I wonder too, see this one does not have a gasket in there, but this one does have a gasket. Hmm. I think I like the black ones better. Less room for air, because if you mess up that gasket, then you have a potential leak. So hopefully we don't have any leaks. I need the pipe dope. What do you think? Are we gonna have any leaks? Why don't you write down in the comments below if you think there's gonna be a leak or not. Then when we leak test it, we'll find out and you will have already written Yes or no on the leaks? What do you think, Jules? Leaks or no leaks? I think no leaks. Really? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty positive. I'm thinking leaks. Where? I don't know. I'm thinking there's gonna be three leaks. Probably at those gaskets, like at the end of the yellow pipe. Hmm. But I really hope not, because that'll mean no showers if we have leaks, probably. Now we do this pipe dope on this one. Okay, that's good, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, so these are the ones that go on the black pipe. It's kind of like that little ring on the yellow pipe. So they go on here and like that. And they fit inside of there somehow, I forget how. All right, we are ready. Let's turn it on. Leak test it. Did you write down in the comments below whether or not you thought there was a leak? Hopefully there's not. But, mm, I don't know. All right, gas is on. I don't hear any gushers. <laughs> it exploded. All right, let's spray it. Here we go. It's time to go my own way. I think we got that one pretty good and soaked up. See any bubbles? I don't see anything yet. 
We'll come back to it. Let's go soap up some others. Okay, we know we got gas, yeah? Yeah. Let's go down to the crawl space and do these ones right here and see if we get any bubbles. Check it out. Oh man. Hot water coming out of the faucet. It's amazing. Let me show you what we had going on here. All right, check it out. Here we go. Bam, baby. So we've got our vents up here. We come down. We've got our hot and cold coming in. We've got our pressure temperature relief valve going down, going outside. And who guessed one leak? If you guessed one leak down in the comments below, well, go ahead and give yourself a thumbs up because there was one leak right here. Here at this flare fitting, but that is it. Oh yeah, we got our... These guys right here are for cleaning out the system. So you can open them up, shut off the water to here, and then you can circulate a solution through there. So we got that done. That's for the dryer. And then in the kitchen, right over there, there is another gas valve for the range. And there's plenty of space down there for connecting in, tapping in for a grill outside eventually. <coughs> From the garage, we can tap into it again run another line over for a generator possibly outside. But this stuff is pretty simple to use and pretty simple to actually tap back into later and expand your gas system. So we've got a pretty good system out there. We got a thousand gallon propane tank for, who knows man, it could last for a year or two now. Now that we're gonna be living in here, heating with wood, not heating the apartment, because nobody's gonna be living in there. It's just gonna be for guests, pretty good. Uh, we got some more projects to do still today though, so uh, let's get busy. We're supposed to have a really cool pendant light that comes down right here and casts a nice glow on here. That was kind of dramatic. We're supposed to have a pendant light, but we decided not to because it's already so bright in here, there was no need to have another light. But we have this ugly box up here that we need to do something with. So instead, we're gonna be putting this cool smoke detector up there. It's supposed to last 10 years, so that means I will be 60 years old when I have to climb up the ladder and replace this bad boy. Wow. I think it might work. Safety Sally said it's okay. And I'm gonna go up there and see if I can actually reach it first. And I put the ladder this way so that the weight is distributed where the countertop is supported. Because right in the middle, it's not supported at all. It's just floating there. Because there's that secret passage right down there. I'm not even going to have to get on the top. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm on fire. Oh. Alright, here we go. Okay, push the test. Here we go, we just need to have like a fire to test it. <laughs> what do you think? Probably the first time we cook. <laughs> Probably the first time we cook. We might be taking the battery out of that thing, who knows. That is not safety selling for though. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking he forgot the condensate line for that water heater. You're right, I did. But I remembered. So we've got it and we did use it. We did take a shower. So there is some water on the floor and you can see there is a little drop right there. So we've got this condensate line right here we're gonna use. And uh, let's see here, does it fit? Hmm, it said that it requires a half inch. Uh, doesn't fit. I think we can make it work if we stretch it out. I tested it. And I got it to stretch and fit on there, so I think we'll be okay. But um, we're gonna heat it up, because look at how spinny that thing is. I'm gonna go ahead, heat it up, get it straight, and then we can run it and it'll look sharp. All right, there we go. Condensate line, bloop, right into there. Jules, we've made quite a bit of dust in this place. Yeah, lots and lots of dust. But it's that like, fan's looking really good. It's like falling off like ash. 
Really? Yeah. Wow. I already cleaned some of them up off the floor, but you can still see down here, there's just like ashes. Huh. <laughs> really light, fine stuff. The next project we want to try and tackle this week is actually putting in stairs right here in the front of the house. Be 11 feet long stairs. Like 11 feet wide. Seth is staining up the treads over there. And we're using real wood for the stairs because I just, I just like it better. And it's not as slippery as this imitation stuff down here. And so you don't want slippery stairs. Plus I just think it'll look cool, a little bit stronger, a little bit less bouncy in between the stair runners, things like that. Jules has got her cat. <laughs> Ray hasn't been in the video much. Look no. how thin she's getting. Way thin, huh? Yeah, I know. She's losing all of her her winter winter fat. Padding. Yeah. <laughs> Watts is pretty thin too now. Okay. Like a sleekling hunting machine. Yeah, and they're still catching mice. They're doing good. They caught a whole rabbit. Yeah. yeah. Like a full size rabbit. Yeah, and they were crunching it. Going to town on its bones. The only thing they really left were the intestines. Yeah. Everything else, well, I did actually see a little foot, but almost the entire thing was gone. That was kind of crazy. <laughs> Got our outside stringers up, measured in between them, divided that up evenly. So we're at 21 and a half inches in between each stringer. Take a quick look over at Seth's progress. Looks good, Seth. Thanks. He's working on all of our treads, staining them mahogany. so that they can be level coming out this way so that they're not tipping up like that or down like that. Alrighty, there you go. The stairs are done and they work beautiful. We're not really gonna be using them right now because the clover is just coming up and we don't wanna be walking around out there on the baby clover. So we're just gonna let it grow. If you wanna go all the way back to the beginning when we started off living in tents right over there, we picked out this video right up here for you to go ahead and watch next. Otherwise, we picked out this video for you. We hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling.